According to British newspapers, Queen Elizabeth II has an overall fortune of $421 million. A lot of this money is spent on maintaining her various properties across the UK. In short, the Queen owns immense amounts of property, but she couldn't sell most of it if she wanted to. Of her entire portfolio, her prime properties are split between four Crown-owned and two privately-owned residences passed down from her father, King George VI. It's in these six opulent palaces that the Queen spends almost all of her time. Let's explore them. Crown-owned – Buckingham Palace As far as architectural marvels are concerned, Buckingham Palace is among the top of the list. The structure exudes opulence. Buckingham Palace is so popular that even the guards who stand at their gate have their own emoji. Foxton's estate agents valued Buckingham Palace at over $2.7 billion. The Queen could actually rent it for a million dollar a week, but of course she wouldn't. Crown owned Windsor Castle. Notable for its long association with the English and later British royal family and for its architecture. The original castle was built in the 11th century after the Norman invasion of England by William the Conqueror. Windsor Castle is the longest occupied palace in Europe and, at almost 1,000 years old, is something of an icon of British architecture. It is often the venue of state events and it's the Queen's country residence. She spends most weekends here. Crown Owned – Palace of Holyrood House Holyrood House is the Queen's official Scottish residence. It is also where Mary, Queen of Scots, married twice. It is a key example of 17th century Scottish architecture with exceptional national and international architectural and historical significance. Crown Owned Hillsborough Castle It's the Queen's official residence in Northern Ireland, made so after the War of Irish Independence meant she could no longer occupy a royal residence in Dublin. Viewed by some as a politically neutral venue, Hillsborough has played an important role in the peace process in Northern Ireland since the 80s. In 2014, Historic royal palaces took over the running of Hillsborough Castle and began an ambitious project to restore the house and gardens to its former glory. Privately owned, Sandringham House. Sandringham House was purchased in 1862 by Queen Victoria. A family favorite, the Queen always spends Christmas and New Year at Sandringham, where she broadcasts her famous annual address to the nation. Sandringham House remains private property of the royal family and is not part of the Crown Estate. Privately owns Balmoral Castle. Balmoral Castle is an example of Scottish baronial architecture and is classified by Historic Environment Scotland as a Category A listed building. The Balmoral estate now covers an area of approximately 50,000 acres. It is a working estate, including grouse moors, forestry, and farmland, as well as managed herds of deer, highland cattle, and ponies. 
Balmoral Castle remains private property of the royal family and is not part of the Crown Estate. 